Chinese engineers are building a huge cargo ship, which will have a capacity equivalent to 2,900 C919 airliners. So what does it take to power a ship like this? At the heart of this giant ship is by far one of the largest ship engines that humans have ever built. At 23 meters long, 16.2 meters high, and weighing over 2,140 tons, it covers an area equivalent to a basketball court. This super engine, made up of 120,000 parts, is truly astonishing. But it's this 23.5 meter long, 488 ton crankshaft that gives the engine its power. Like all engine crankshafts, once it's installed, it cannot be replaced or repaired. Let's see what this core part can do. Pistons drive the giant crankshaft to rotate at high speed turning the 11-meter diameter propeller, thus generating the power equivalent to the output of 700 cars. The principle is simple enough, but the real challenge is keeping the crankshaft rotating at high speed as the ship makes its way through the rough ocean. This requires it to be mounted on a base with extremely high machining accuracy. The world's most advanced CNC machine is grinding the base of the crankshaft. Engineers need to ensure that the crankshaft and base fit together perfectly with less than 0.08 millimeters of connection error. In the rolling sea, the base can keep the crankshaft from shaking violently, as well as minimizing the friction between the crankshaft and the base, allowing it to move freely like human joints. Thanks to this high-precision base that is almost integrated with the crankshaft, the super engine has a lifespan of 20 years, enough to cover the entire life cycle of a cargo ship. It is the application of extremely high-precision machining in the engine that ensures strong and smooth power output to the ship. The giant ship is composed of countless precision-made structures. On the vastness of the open sea, it can appear small, but it still stands as another example of human endeavor and ingenuity. Through discovery and innovation, we continue to explore the infinite world. This is Fantastic China.